you say is like the state of solar now? Like I, I you know, we're all, we're always in this business where people who are, who want to jump onto trends, they're always too late. You know, they're always, but but I, you know, or a little bit too late. There's still there's still I'm sure getting you know that you can still probably jump into it to some extent. But what would you say is the state of solar currently for yeah, people looking to get into it? Yeah, it's actually growing, believe it or not, because solar has been limited to the states that had the best benefits for solar installations. So everybody's been marketing to California and Arizona and New Jersey. But as the laws have changed, solar has now opened up in other states. So it's almost fresh there, like they've never seen the ads. So if I advertise now in Pennsylvania or Oregon or Florida, they've never seen my ads. So the ads that were working a year ago that are completely burnt out in California are brand new. So this has been fantastic. And I think that the bigger play is uh, the thing that holds people back on the solar installation side as far as businesses is that not all states will reimburse you for the extra energy you generate. And that you put back into live- the grid. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So the, the idea is that you, you get enough energy to fuel your house, the extra energy you sell back to the power company and they utilize it. Um, but what's going to happen now is, and what will make it be able to be 50 states, is now there's going to be the energy battery packs. So now in every state, it's going to make sense to do solar because now when you have extra power, you can store it and use it. So I think in a year and a half, we're going to see solar go nationwide. Um, and that's just on the U.S. front. Now, the yeah. state of solar in other countries is expanding. We generate leads for solar in France, Germany, Italy, Australia, Belgium. Uh, it's, it's really been popping up anywhere. Uh, and it's fun to scale a vertical to another geo because really the things that have been working in the U.S. usually translate pretty quickly to the uh, other geos. Right now, France is super hot. You know, we do a ton of volume every day in France. Um, and it's, it's just been a, it's been a great spot for us. That's super. And literally, you're just translating over your landing pages. There's no cultural nuances you're having to figure out. It's like people want this trend and, and you can serve it up to them. Yeah, it's like there's minor, minor tweaks based on like, okay, what are the government benefits? Uh, and things of this nature, but it almost always works because the cost per click is almost always cheaper outside the United States, uh, and the payouts are quite good. So it, it, it kind of, even if you have to make the ads a little less sexy than the United States, because there aren't quite the government benefits, it still backs out really nice. <laughs>